The forest is empty, even of song, even of silence. A crow's threnody stabs at the quiet, the soft creaking long of a hanging corpse, its coarse melody winging through brambles. The yellow-touched clearing slants sun around the dust and theft of stillness. The blackbird settles, head held aloft, peering sharp through a sideways glance, divining illness. Stepmother silence, protecting her line, would smother all sound. But the wanton crow begs to differ, cries dissent, dressed to dine in formal black, descends upon the road. Haughty, the lone black bird commands the glade. The sudden slash of rising wing cuts high to fall, a slick feathered guillotine blade, severing air. It turns the other eye. Careful in his steps, suspicious of harm, the hunter dismounts, displaces the air of forest glade. Feels the earth, finds it warm, sees no trail of singers passing, no snare. He is canny. The heart of the clearing holds the last of a cadaver, a crow's repast. There is danger present. Hearing nothing, seeing less, undoubted. He knows. A solitary feather falls, slow drops onto spear grass of green and darkened red. The molten black plumage peels away, stops, reveals an arm of twisting white instead. A rain of feathers down to clot to pool among the razor grass, and out that lake of oil-coloured flight, her blood to cool, a woman's steps that from the breast would take the heart or soul of any man. The hunter starts, an arrow's jutted strike hitting true within the mark. The vision throws a gaunter shadow on his face. A more bitten hue. A solitary feather floats, short hops, locust-like, against the sloped, missing breeze, breaks its flight against his thigh, slices, stops, caught beneath his hand, caught in return, sees blood from the thumb tip. Like a Fletcher's blade, a second black feather cuts the air. Straight as arrow's flight, he seeks to evade, is caught, sees his life flood rolling in spate. A hurricane of feathers wheels, stripping his clothes from his limbs, taking skin from the muscle, breath from the lungs, tissue from the bone, ripping thought, wit, memory from the polished skull. The forest now is empty, even song, even silence, stands absent from the place. But the whistle finds a way through the long thigh bone, through the grinning, caveted face. <laughs>